Engineer 775, good morning piggies. Here comes the other mama. They're due in about two weeks. Ooh, got a little project here to get these mamas some water. And we're doing it off grid, of course, with some solar water pumping on a farm. We got some uh, Jersey cows and we've got some pigs that are as big as cows. And I uh, want to make sure that they're, they're happy. Are you happy this morning, Mama? They're awfully big. <laughs> Ready for some little piglets. Engineer 775. This is um, probably the most complicated system I've done so far. It doesn't look that complicated. It's pretty small. But on this site, it's uh, helping out with some livestock. Or livestock, we're completely off grid, and we're using two of these panels to pump water out of a well. There are two wells on this site, and there are five pumps. We've got a hand pump. We've got two submersibles that are on grid. We've got a submersible solar pump, and we have a booster pump from Dankhoff, Flowlight Booster. So, <laughs> two wells, five pumps everything check valve. The goal is to basically fill a uh, 1, 1,100 gallon green tank over there and we just got finished up. You can see we just finished covering the ditches and uh, I'm going to stop it here and show you something. Okay, this looks like crazy plumbing and it is we took because it was an existing system and we've added to it. Um, we're using, like I said, a Dankoff low light and booster pump. We went with a 12 volt system on this. We've got a 12 volt AGM battery and we got a cool little charge controller here that is maintaining that battery and that is also feeding off of the solar panel on the left. We've got a pressure tank here and a pressure tank there obviously and then one over at the other well. So I went and connected them. So. This is kind of crazy, um, but it was fun. So we've got a uh, solar submersible pump here. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. This is the solar submersible running about five gallons a minute. And this is the uh, on grid system. So I put both pumps in the same well. And so we have a complete off road, off road off-grid not off-road system here and next I'll show you the tank so what this allows you to do with a minimal amount of power this one 12 volt battery you're able to get four to six gallons a minute at 55 psi and uh, pump I'm pumping about 2,000 gallons a day off of two 135 watt panels and uh, so I'll show you the tank next well, this is a 1100, well it's a 10, 1050, 1000 gallon tank roughly. And uh, I'm gonna take a peek in here. Ah, we'll open up the big one. Very good. We do have some plastic floating from just uh, hole saws and things, but we're almost full. And we've got a Septronics float switch here that is just about ready to shut it off. Notice this. Uh, it's kind of a, it is a, uh, not a lead weight, but it's a weight it's a, to tether this so that when uh, it holds it down, so when the water floats up here, I mean the float switch comes up, it shuts the pump off. So it gets to about right there, I just shut the pump off. And then it'll go down. Pump should be on there. It's just about ready to shut off. Let me keep it right there. All right, that's that's it on the tank. Okay, system is good on here, and the pump's on, and then the MPPT will uh, the maximum power point tracking light flashes on and off. And then in the morning you get low power at night when you don't have enough sun. The tank full light comes on when that float switch goes up and then if you ever out pump your well the low water level light will come on and shut the pump off so great little system modular if you ever have problems I know this is circuitry but you can buy just this board as opposed to pulling your pump and sending it back to the manufacturer you can go ahead and just replace this board 
if you ever have problems. But been doing this for about, I don't know, eight years and haven't had problems. So, okay, Engineer 775, signing off. Oh, and uh, again, the, the animals are not up here at the waters, but you saw the pigs in the first half. The cows and the pigs come up to these cattle troughs. And uh, that's it. All right, signing off from a, a, a little farm in an undisclosed location. Thanks for watching.